like I'll be honest, like I completely lost it. I'd break down and shit like that. And it took me a while to come back to like to life, you know, maybe like a couple of years to kind of get back and like come back to reality almost. But I think at the time I just didn't have structure or any guidance or anything, you know what I mean? Mm. And you don't have it it's never planned, is it? Killer killer podcast KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. <laughs> Ciao, Yeah, 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 Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you want to be. Uh, you know what time it is. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everybody. It's got Keller in app. Oh, this year is rolling like thunder. Um, we have a very special guest transmitting live from London, but uh, making a trip down from Liverpool or thereabouts, man. One of the original OGs. Kiosk inside the place, what are we saying? Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> Not much, you know. <laughs> Nothing. Um, just been painting today with Kala yeah. and Ram. Yeah, yeah we really did good. It. Yeah. Sick pieces, man. So good. I feel like we're energised. We're like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> leveled up. Yeah, painting trellis, man, it's so good. Like a mecca, isn't it, for yeah. graph, really? Good yeah. spot to do, like. It is. Really good. You had to look around at one point and you were like, that's Dragon. such a daunting oh, building, isn't it? Amazing, yeah, so good. Yeah. So much history, isn't it? Yeah. It's like being on a film set almost, like, when you walk in. So yeah. cool, man. It is, man, the mecca. Um, really Liverpool, good. Liverpool and uh, you and the association. But whenever I'm around the Hall of Fame around here, I'm damn well seeing kiosks everywhere. What's yeah, going on? How are you yeah. doing this? Yeah, so for the last six, eight months, I've been coming to London every month and just coming here and painting over the weekend and then painting as much as I can. So, like, try and get, like, about between 10 and 15 pieces painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so just hit and hit spots where it's seen, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the, one of the ways of being seen, getting mm-hmm. in a good spot. You know like, what I mean? Like being... It kind of amplifies your intent. You, you go into a place like, oh, well, I saw it Stockwell. I saw it in Stockwell. Yeah, rather yeah. Than the, well, rather than the Hall of Fame itself, you had the top floor of the whole holdings and you just knocked out the whole thing and it really stuck out to me, man. Yeah, yeah. Just just one of them, isn't it? Just painting around odd spots that people... Mm. You paint Stockwell and it's down below and it gets gone over, but if you paint spots mm. which people don't want to paint mm. or they think it might not be legal mm. or illegal, mm. it's going to stay longer, isn't it? It is. So yeah, so I've just painted there this morning actually again, over whatever, you know, another spot. Yeah. Just as I was coming over here, just to yeah. fill time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's mad. But yeah, so... Uh, do you ever like run out of juice in the in the tank? Like if you do a pick, because we went in Not when them. I'm here, no, not really? when I'm here. No, not at all. You man. just want, I want to go. More. I want to go now tonight, but I want to go and eat as well. So yeah. I'll just leave it for tonight. No, <laughs> no, 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 that eating thing <laughs> is so damn annoying. Oh, um, no. Yo, I feel you. I think a lot of it is down to being on the outskirts or outside of London. You come in with a mission brief. You come in with intent. I've, I've gotten in when I've been in the like the last time I came, I had an itinerary of things on a, on the back of a receipt, the days, the spots I wanted to go to. Stop it. Yeah, I did honestly, and I still had like six spots and what on each day, and then go and hit them. And did you do it? Yeah, yeah. I need to each spot, and then like like logistically from where I was staying, heading, you know, and then I'd end up like say whatever Stockwell at the end of the day, and then just go home to my friends. So yeah, it's good. It's funny because I was thinking about this back in the day when I was touring. Yeah, here we go. Here comes Kells with his tour stories. During the tour, yeah, yeah. it's to have an itinerary, to have a plan, to execute. Sometimes it can feel like, yeah, but I'm not from the city. I've got to make an impact. I've got this. But in reality, like, I ain't, I'm, I'm north, northwest. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen Tizer for ages. You don't see people, maybe like, maybe like three times a, a, every quarter. Yeah, you yeah. You see somebody. So... Really, you don't have to be here all the time. You just got to make no. I know. Yeah, you're here. I, I know. Definitely. Yeah, I've painted there, Allen Gardens, mm. with Rust before Christmas, and we were painting there. And there was a guy came along, this guy called Rescue, and I got chatting to him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, where, which part of London are you from?" Mm. And I was like, "I'm from. I live in Liverpool." And he's like, "Oh, respect, man, respect. I see you everywhere and all this." And I was like, "Oh, cheers, man. Really appreciate it." That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So it's just like it's getting in a spot where like people 
fucking see the stuff, you know what I mean? And yeah. I think that's the main thing, really. I get a lot of love for coming up, coming oh, down. Ma- so, so oh, yeah, coming to London, there's so much, like, I think the main person, or there's a couple of main people who have hooked up with, and the biggest one was Tizer, obviously, and yeah. I'll have to Big say. Tizer, yeah. yeah the, Big one, of the, well. uh, one of the coolest people yeah. that I've met in yeah. London's Tizer, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. by... Cool. So friendly yeah. and so fucking welcoming, yeah. and that's that made had a big kind of big hug, if you know what I mean. And then it just it was nice, you know what I yeah, mean, to man. paint like that. Um, chips as well, like from uh, Starkwell, yeah, big up chips, yeah, yeah, like him as well. well just Starkaffer, just yeah. so friendly and fucking such a good bunch of people, you know what I mean. And mm. yeah, really enjoying just coming and painting and hooking up with all different people, and even going down Leak Street and. Like with the with Instagram or whatever, seeing people online and meeting them and going up and going, oh, hi, how are you doing? And then you say, oh, you go, what's your right out kiosk? And you go, oh yeah, man, I've seen your stuff and all this. I'm like, oh, cheers, man, I appreciate it. You do, man, and I think a lot of it is and big up me, big up here, big up people that are diet that are using big block letters to get yeah, yeah. just knock out a wall. Oh yeah, I love definitely. that shit. And you definitely hold a, a, yeah, a flag yeah. to that. Well, with London, so like I came on, so it's Saturday, what day are we today? Saturday, yeah, I came on Wednesday night for a job or whatever. And then on Thursday night, after I finished the job at half five, I went to South Bank and painted like four things. What? Yeah, so it goes up the ladders twice. I'd done a big colour piece up the ladders on one side and then on the opposite side, like a chrome dead quick. And then I painted an, another little chrome thing. And then I painted the spot where people like skate and film skate videos. Nice. So like that, yeah. where the steps are on the bank, like a bank there. And like, I just like to hit spots where you're like, you're looking on your phone, you see like, I'm originally like skate or whatever. So like it's... So you've already got a perception of where things where, are filmed. And yeah, yeah, filmed. exactly. Yeah. So <gasps> loads of people film shit there and I want it to be, you know, I want to get stuff so it's seen and people go... Yeah, man, that guy's there, you know. I love good. that you know this shit. The yeah, intel and I like real. painting skate parks as well. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm a skater at heart, you know, even, like, all my friends now that are in Liverpool, they're all skaters. And even I messaged my friend Craig the other day, and he's like, you're a skater at the, at the in the end. You're not a graph writer and all this. I was like, oh, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? But Yeah, he still gets the perks as a skater yeah, as well. You um, get all the free shit too, don't you? Oh, Joe, yeah, my friend Joel, who I kind of stay with. Joel? Yeah, yeah, Joel and Mel, and they've got two boys, uh, Jet and Olive. So I stay with them, and they always and Joel just is so kind and such a lovely person. Mm. I've, re- I've known him since fucking, yeah, 30, 30 years old. So one of my best friends in London and when I used to live in London I'd used to hang out and just go skating and just enjoy life like you know so mm. it's good man yeah. yeah and yeah get loads of freebie all the palace stuff and all that's fucking sick like so yeah, yeah. that zombie palace the zombie connect. stuff oh. yeah so yeah did you have you seen one of them jackets yet you've seen one of them every nobody's time. got he's got me some uh, the pants you know like the damn the jeans with yeah yeah so yeah so I'm <laughs> gonna try yeah so it's good man oh, yeah. it's a beautiful collaboration that's such oh, a good yeah, idea fucking hell well if you're going to pick someone who are you going to pick London they're done yeah. there you go then so perfect wasn't it you know what I mean yeah so it's good yeah really, uh, just is what it is isn't it we were talking about this little side note I, I was talking about this to a friend big up DJ Argue um, he's a big graph fan as well and we were talking like who crowns the, the overall king of London really overall king like I would say is either between Zombie or Drax. There's too many, isn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I like Zombie, but and I, I I really like Drax's stuff, and I just think fucking for me, even years ago, seeing is that tag with the D and the X is just like yeah, yeah. That's comment it. below. Tell us who you think is the all, all yeah, around. Yeah, you know. I do like Zombie stuff, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I just love influence wise. He's influenced. Uh, like, Drax is fucking cool, man, as yeah. fuck, and a cool guy. You know, like a nice guy, man. Oh, they're both awesome. Yeah, and it's hard because the contributions that both of them are putting, whether it's interviews, Drax is really o- o- open and outspoken, or you know, Zom for all of his contributions in in the products and oh yeah, and without a doubt, man. Yeah, style. He's so cool, loving. man. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, London just fucking. For me, painting anyway, like London's just got like a set style, and I, I don't try and fit into that. I just keep on doing what I'm into. You know mm. what I mean? And how do you what? define what you're into? Because I, I see your style fitting in very well with what's going on in the current trends and climate. Yeah, just just a kind of like even on my Insta and stuff like that. I don't. I haven't got like graph artist. I've just put artist because I don't see graffiti art as like. It being graffiti, you know, like I just think it's art, isn't it? At the yeah. end of the day, it's fucking being an artist. You've, you're taking mm. time and creating something, you know. So, 
Yeah, graffiti is the act, isn't it? Yeah. I see the whole thing as an art, like, for, especially back in the, uh, you know, pre, you know, cans that you can buy of all sorts of colours oh, and all sorts of brushes. Oh, man, yeah. But there was an art to creating your own colours. There was an art to racking I never done that yet. I never, to be honest, the only colour that me, I used to use, like, get bunt lack and, like, whatever, go racking or whatever a few times, but not, we just used, like, car plant paints and had one cap and, like, in the winter, the cap would just, like, you know, your, your finger would have a little indentation at the end so when you've finished and it'd be yeah. fucking freezing cold mm. and almost sticking to your finger. God, car plan was rubbish, wasn't yeah. it? I don't know, you know, some of it's certain colours I liked and I got, you know, you get away with some things and then they used hammerite black for like... Yeah, the blues in car plan were quite nice, Yeah, yeah, there was like an Olympic blue and like, yeah. a, and a dark, like a, there was a darker blue as well, a decent man. But some good paints at the time and then bunt like you could get like all like mm. pinks and whatever, but yeah, That's just like one that. of them, yeah. The holy grail of uh, of eighties paint. Oh man, right. yeah, definitely, yeah. I think it's just this so easy now. The stuff mm. that you've got, isn't it? Like fucking so many different caps. All it's like having felt tips almost on the wall, isn't it? It's calling yeah. all these colours and stuff. Yeah, yeah. we're all very fucking lucky to be alive right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's yeah. take it back. Let's take it back to uh, how you got into it. Because Liverpool. Yeah. I'll tell you, man. Like big up all the Liverpool crew. Um, Lots happening, I feel. Yeah, I've been hearing whispers that you know it's it's heating up. There's things going on. There's up there. loads of people painting. Yeah, definitely. Give us some names, man. Give us some who to look out so, for from Danny. Yeah, the, um, so there's a young kid called Ice who gets up quite a lot. Does low. Yeah, so when I started painting again, obviously there's this local graffiti shop in Liverpool called Zap, and a cool Scottish guy in there called Kieran who I went Kid. and he hooked us up and he's just given us all the you know just advice on all the new cans and shit and really helpful man, nice mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. He's been the, he's been going for years, you know what I mean, there and stuff, yeah. and just doing his thing and teaching kids and shit and all shit like that. But Fantastic, yeah. When I started again, I just fucking wanted to paint, and then once I done one, it just escalated. I wanted to do another, and then another, and another, and so on. You know what I mean? So <laughs> just snowballed into like fucking just painting as much as I can. So I think that at the moment people are probably just fed up on me seeing it too many times. You know what I mean? But oh, what are you everywhere? Trying to be, yeah. But, there like, that's the name of the game, isn't it, at the end mm. of the day? But, like, if someone wants to paint over on a legal spot, go for it, you know what I mean? That's mm. the whole point of, you know, when I started back up again of late, I was painting in Folkestone, and I messaged the guy called and also mm. I, I spoke to him and I was, like, saying, what's the deal on these legal boards around this new skate park in Folkestone? And he was like, listen, it's a legal board, you know, fucking anyone can paint mm. any time. It's limited space. Just, in Folkestone. This it? was in Folkestone, yeah, just yeah. on a board. So I just went down and fucking covered them all pretty much. Big at a Folkestone crew. Oh, no, yeah. definitely, yeah. So like, and met Aops and he came over mm. in his car and like he had this That's like fucking sick. delivery cart almost, you know what I mean? Like, and he just took all these racks of paint, like, what do you want? And I was like, yeah, that, that, that. Love Picking it. Them all. But a cool guy, man, like really nice. Good scene there, you know what I mean? Like, mm. and yeah, there's a few other little few kids there, yeah. You really go all over the shop, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I just like seeing spots with uh, obviously social media, especially Instagram's just like changed everything, I think, mm. a lot, hasn't it? It's yeah. so it's like accessible, and you can just you can reach out to people and say, Oh, yeah, yeah. how's it going? Do you want to paint? And if yeah. they, they don't get back to you, they don't get back to you, but a lot of the time, people are just like friendly and cool, you know what I mean? Like, I have to say, because you, you're a social cat, and I, I spoke to here. He said, "Oh yeah, I know Kios speaks to Fabe. Oh yeah, Kios, yeah. yeah, we've yeah. been talking. You know, it's like you you do reach out and you you oh, make no, shit happen. Oh no, definitely, yeah, yeah. Oh fucking right, man. I think just it's such a different game now to like when I was a kid and paint when I started painting like thirteen, fourteen, thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, yeah, tagging and then Kios. My first tag was like 12 years old and I wrote Curse and I was with my, my best mate at the time, Frank. So we painted down this like little sketchy alleyway or whatever mm -hmm. and I wrote Curse and then we got legged and I ran into a post and fucking banged my chin and I thought, I'm, I'm going to change my tag. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And then I thought of a few things. I love and that Curse. Oh, that was Curse. That, that, that so was it, game over. Yeah. So I thought, fuck it, man. I thought, I'm going to do, I'm going to go it's like. It's a calling. So then there's like a local guy and he's like, who was speaking to, I was like, oh, I need to think of a tag. And I was like, I'm going to do chaos. And he's like, chaos? He goes, why don't you do chaos? And I was like, I said, fuck it, man, I'm going to stick with chaos. Mm. That's my tag. So yeah, just started out. And in Liverpool at the time, there was one writer really who was up a lot, a guy called Stock. Stock? Yeah. Okay. And he was like the one type thing. And like now, the, it's almost like people kind of totally forgot about him, but... 
and whatever the type of person he's turned into, that's irrelevant. But he was the, you know, when I was like 14, I was like, I want to meet this guy. Mm. He's fucking up, you know what I mean? Wow. So yeah, so I met him obviously, and then through there, I made connections in like Manchester, and then there was a guy in Manchester called Cell who, used, who lived in Moston. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, so I so. went to this jam in Moston in like 1990 or 1991, mm. I think it was, and like Inky was there painting on the day, and oh, then it just blew my mind. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's just like yeah, see. And then, but also the conflicting thing of like skateboarding and graffiti, because I was I was decent at skating as well. Yeah. So it's like, shall I go skating or shall I do graph or, you know what I mean? So He's life problems, man. Dilemma, real life dilemma. dilemmas. So like enjoyable things. But then I think <laughs> yeah. in 91, when I was like 15 at the time, we went to Munster in Germany and we went on the train, just like, I was only like 15 years old, went like a few guys, whatever. And um, on the train tracks there, it's just fucking changed my life. Oh, I was just like, yeah. that's amazing. I want to paint as much as I can. You know what I mean? It's, Motorways, anything like Seriously, it was Europe's bomb. Got it. Oh man, yeah. and that was back then. It was like 91, Germany yeah, yeah. was just absolute annihilation and it was like so good. Yeah. They seem to have a different tolerance to it. Well, actually, to be fair, yeah. they have a tolerance here as well, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. But, you know, liberal, I think is the right word for... Do you think in, uh, yeah. in Germany? Yeah, yeah, maybe I... The thing, I was just blown away by it, to be honest, and came back, and at the time in Liverpool, there wasn't that much yeah. going on other than, like, stock or whatever, and then I started... So no one else? But just there's a, there's a few other people, yeah, but, like... Got any names? A guy called, yeah, so there was, like, Rise and Came and things yeah. like that, and a few other people. Yeah, yeah. And then after, like, after that, like, late 90s, I don't really know people from them, but there were people who started... There was, like, a guy called Deem. Who Deem, huh? Deem. D D W E M and he's like he lives. I still speak to him now on nice. online. He lives in San Francisco and he's he's a young uh, kid or younger than me. And I knew his brother and stuff and just like a friendly and friendly kid or whatever. Who so, else was there? Dean uh, in the nineties. Dean. Oh, this is like this is like late nineties, early two thousands. Nice. But there was like a crew of them. Yeah, so I think it was called T D S, the Dark Side, and they all right. like painted together. But like at that period, period in my life, I was I just out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I painted late nineties. I kind of changed my tag, done a few things, but like I just just went a different way, you know what yeah. I mean? And then Clark Kent, went Clark Kent for a piece. There you go then, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah. So I I think the reason I st like I stopped probably like ninety two or ninety three, I kind of just stopped. I got yeah. caught BTP, like same old. Like it's funny, like when I was painting in Leak Street a while ago. I went up to a crew of people just listening and there's like someone's going, oh yeah, I got caught years ago by the BTP. I got like a 5,000 pound fine. I got caught. And I was thinking, hang on a minute, you know, there's so many people this has happened to you. But I did get, so basically I got done by BTP, like 20,000 criminal, 20,000 pounds worth of criminal damage, 2,000 pound fine and two years probation and whatever. Mm. And it kind of just threw me a little bit and I thought, you know, what do I do? Carry on and just go out. And so I went to the probation the first time. I had like a big, rucksack on it's full of paint went there it was all rattling and the probation officer said what's in your bag and I said oh some paint he goes you're not going to stop are you and I was like probably not and he goes don't come back then and that was it never went back again so I'm saying but that was like fucking mid, early 90s they were you know nowadays they'd be fucking all out you'd be doing community service wouldn't you so yeah uh, yeah we don't advocate any of that on the Killer Killer podcast but, but, do not try any of this at home with the BTP when it yeah so it was like fucking they knocked at like six o'clock in the morning, like mm. three cars, got raided, got all my stuff taken away and like bin bags. Police station had the file on me and it was just mainly just track sides and stuff. And then, yeah. yeah, they just, I'd been grassed up by like loads of people and stuff. So, and it's like school. Grassed up as in what, by other rights? School, you know, just schools really. Like, yeah, 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 like in six, so it must have been like second year, sixth form and shit like that. And it's just, just people just clocked you and then anything. Yeah, like, like sketchbook in school and you got your tag on it. It's like shit, fucking yeah. stupid things, man. You know what I mean? And then, just wasn't savvy. You know, you hear all people saying we've got nothing in the house now and all this, but, you know, yeah. diff different story for me nowadays because I do mainly do legal stuff, so it's yeah. not going to get heavy, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the <clears throat> the name, Kiosk, yeah. it must be quite easy to tag up. I was thinking about this the other day. Well, I was talking to dogs, big up dogs, yes, come on. Uh, and I also referred to idea as well. Uh, I was talking to T's about it, is it? And and it's interesting, like, should be choosy with your letters because the like dogs, for instance, super quick, all the <coughs> all the circles, 
all the S's, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, Kios has got very similar vibes. Okay, you've got the K at the top. But I love the, yeah, I love the K, I love the letters in it, to be honest. Really lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I bet it's that's got a, good a, a pleasure to kind of spin It is, off. yeah, yeah, definitely, man. It, it works, you know what I mean? I think certain tags are hard to do when it's like, you know, other letters different, you know, but I just like a K and an S. I think it works really well, definitely. Mm. But I think it's just what you know and what you're used to, isn't it? Like mm. the challenge of it almost. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Was there Hall of Fa- are there Hall of Fames up in Liverpool? Yeah. So there's like a skate park at the moment that people just paint, and that's kind of the, the, in the Baltic Triangle. There's like a big space, and it kind of gets done over quite regularly. Yeah, it's you know? called the Baltic Triangle. It's good man. Yeah. That's it's good spot. Yeah. Cold. It, it's <laughs> and then at the moment, there's like this big, long, like one kilometer stretch of board near Chinatown. You can just go and pretty much paint. Oh, is that near where? Um... Was it no faking? Paddy's plate. What was that called? Yeah, it's not far. Yeah, no faking at all. Yeah, it's not far. There's a few little hot spots you can paint. To be honest, um, is that like the cool? What is that place called? That area called where it's got the bars. Mr. Concha Chippy Square and all that. around there. That way, no faking. I think. No faking, yeah. yeah. So the Zanzibar, you mean? Zanzibar. Yeah, yeah, the Zanzibar. Is that a cool area? Is that like Brick there's Lane? There's loads, loads of trendy areas like the Baltic yeah. Triangle. There, that's quite trendy. There's like loads of little like. You know, it's a, Liverpool's I a good, Liverpool, yeah. Man. Liverpool's a good place, man. There's a lot going on right now, and can, you know, and that has been for a while. Like, so I had an ex-girlfriend from up there. I was with her for a long time. I used to go up there. I guess you guys would call her Woolly Back. She's from Saint Helens. <laughs> Woolly Back. <laughs> <laughs> She's Saint Helens girl. But I used to go there all the time, and uh, you know, just that uh, Eleanor Rigby uh, statue. Yeah, across yeah. the road from that, there's the uh, there's this there's this divey like Irish pub where they have like m- microphone being passed karaoke <laughs> stuff, and they're just singing. Like, and I was just like, I'll just be there, just waiting, beatboxing, beatboxing <laughs> just do that sweet. Oh man, I love Liverpool. The people oh, yeah. are amazing. I oh, know it's good. It's a really yeah, yeah. It's a great place to live. Like and yeah, you know, like I lived in London early two thousand or two thousand two to two thousand six, and yeah. then moved back when got family and married and stuff and got two teenage daughters yeah so two teenage daughters eh? yeah but now they do their own thing so like i've got a bit of free time to go and paint and wife's dead supportive obviously helen and amy's if you anyone hasn't guessed things that i put it on up, every piece big up helen big up helen. <laughs> yeah big up, yeah big up the girls hold tight <laughs> what do they think of it like because you literally are you're yeah, the man it. about the country they love it you know i like i love people who are creative in any I like even like what you do yourself i love it when someone's dedicated and creative like i just love that combination you know what i mean i'm full on fucking into it mm-hmm. like, yeah that but that's the difference there. isn't it like i think calling anyone a talent that's an injustice to the amount of effort they put in to do things yeah yeah like it's about repetition and graph is a real example of that it's well, like, i know definitely yeah i just yeah it's just fucking dead addictive though isn't it you do one and you want to do another and stuff like that it was like speaking to people like so I was at Stockwell last night speaking to a few people and we were talking about like doing trains and stuff like that. And I just said, I could, you know, I wouldn't myself because I think if I'd done one, that would be it. Mm. I'd be on like a... Yeah. Slippery slope. Yeah. I just need to stay legal, you know, in that sense. And then mm. the odd thing here and there type thing, but nothing like major like that. I think it's another... I can't I've imagine got total anything. respect for it, obviously total respect, but, you know, I'm fucking... I feel, feel like... I, in my younger days, it had been sick, like to do, but have you ever done trains? No, I've done a few things here yeah, and there, but yeah. not, yeah, major, yeah, yeah. When you go, when you do something like that and you kind of cross over, it's almost like crossing over a line, isn't it? And yeah. then once you start, you're like on it, in it, don't stop, do it, keep on going and stuff. And then you just like, yeah. and it's, and I get that, it's really exciting, it's so exciting doing that mm. in comparison, like. Legal, I do like love painting legally because you can just take your time and all like, yeah. and like stand off, have it, whatever. But when you're doing that, you've just got to go fucking all in and then get off, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I think there's something about so, yeah. an, an old school right, writer like yourself that comes back. It, man, maybe it's just me being all romantic and shit, but you can see in the, the piecing and the writing that, do you know what I mean? Like the, the fight in the dog. The fact yeah, that there yeah. is still that it's guttural, like you're you're you it doesn't feel like you've taken your time doing it. It looks like it's just bang there. Yeah. And, and yeah. I get that with Drax, I get that with everybody that I I, I hop back to a certain era and they're still doing it now. It's like you know, it's just like you each paint spray you can see that that comes from a, a, a higher level of dedication and, and drive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know definitely, yeah. Without a doubt, man. I just love that. 
just getting in that moment, if you know what I mean, definitely. The, the thing with, I say, when you paint legally, you can just fucking, it's just a good feeling, isn't it? You, yeah. You're lost in it almost. It's and a you, puzzle. Yeah, it is a puzzle totally. And then you, you kind of just, not battling it, you're just enjoying it and fucking going with things. And sometimes like, you might do something and think, oh, it's fucking shit, man. Mm. But then other times you do it and you think, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah, cool. Yeah. And, and that's what it's about, isn't it? And, do you think? Do you think the international, well, the national aspect of it shapes you as a writer? I don't feel like you're, you you don't subscribe to style like if Manchester got style or Bristol, or yeah, Sheffield. Yeah. You don't really subscribe to any of that. No, I London, don't. Yeah, no, I just keep every. The main thing for me is being legible, so people, you, your Joe public can read it and go, chaos. Or, you know, in that sense, mm. like I, I can do. Believe it or not, <laughs> wild style and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. say whatever proper graph letters, even though people probably think that I can't. I can do that, but I just love simplistic, fucking bold, big letters yeah. and that are in people's faces. And it's like, you know, I, I just like that. It's almost like an advertisement, but for, you know, it is what it is, yeah. It's funny because when you're learning to do graffiti or at least try and people immediately go, fast track to the wild style yeah yeah and make it it then end up having to reverse engineer what they've done because when you really break it down those straight letters that you begin with those you know those yeah, blockbuster yeah. back to back like you those are your foundations and they actually never leave your piece oh man i like that yeah i love just simple big fucking things like that they stri yeah. they're just more striking for me to be honest yeah, yeah. so yeah it's good just you enjoyable man yeah definitely yeah you love it don't you yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, coming back into it anyway, I just um, just got just on a roll. Really, just feel like I don't know how, when it's going to end. Do you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> Painting yeah, as much as I can and like fucking working to earn money to be able to pay to get paint, and that's the good thing about being older and obviously having money to mm. buy whatever you want to get is a mm -hmm. great thing, isn't it? There's an emotional attachment to doing Fuck painting, isn't yeah, it? Oh yeah, definitely, man. Like, if you don't do it, there's a problem. It's so good. I just yeah, I enjoy it so much. But yeah, just keep on going, really. Yeah. And I know, obviously, coming out of COVID now, hopefully, can go traveling. I've been making some good contacts about going painting mm -hmm. other things in Europe instead of painting things here. If that mm -hmm. makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm up for that in the future. Yeah. Who are your influences like? Who are the influences that painting wise? Yeah. Yeah. So I. You've got, you know, you've got to look at like things like Subway Art, like Dandy and stuff mm. like that, and the fills they were doing. He's done a like that's people's fills that they use today, isn't it? You know, like mm. that type of hazy fill and the yeah. different colors phasing into another and shit like that. And it, it all stems from there, I think. And then people have kind of made their own shit up. You know what I mean? Mm. I think like things like in the late nineties, early two thousand, like. That Nims guy from Brighton, you know, Nima. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like, and he had, so everyone kind wow. of, at that time when he put, when he just like fucking blew up, everyone kind of mimicked that style. And that style that he's done is just based on that pavilion, isn't it, in Brighton? Bro, I'm it so is. glad you said it's the truth. It is, yeah. it's based on the pavilion and it's Mad. like, and then from that, it kind of created this really fucking weird letter style in, yeah. and it was from him bulbous kind of yeah i was so I love sick that, yeah that was my that. he's my favorite writer, yeah man he's so good uh, you know so there's you go through the the period of all like people mm. who paint and there's, there's, it's you know you've just got to respect people who like that really mm. you yeah. said actually and and it made me think and i was like yeah you know you're right like zombie definitely holds the candle you know holds oh, a yeah, torch without for, a doubt man yeah you know i mean for, yeah. for london and fucking right uh, and how it formed and stuff but you made a good observation and I think it's from an outside perspective that you came with it and I, I really valued it. You said Dondi actually, you can see a lot of Dondi even now in London. Yeah, definitely. Style. It is just that fill, isn't it? Yeah. That hazy fill and like and it just and all colours fading into another and then mm. just adding another layer on that, maybe like stars and three D stars and then just lines and shit and mm. and all just fading in. But you know, it's fucking, it's still, but some of the graph in London, it's really like just nice and flowing and loose, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think with painting now at the moment, my stuff's really tight and I get like a really tight line, but sometimes I just want to be more free and loose. But then I think, well, if I do that, I'm mm. going to lose what I've, I'm about, if mm. that makes sense. Oh yeah, because that one So decision, you're like, yeah, yeah, and then it's like, then you're just in it then, aren't you? Mm. You're just like, you know, 
not like everyone else, but you're just kind of trying to fit in, if you know what I mean. I don't want to just try and fit in, you know what I mean? I think when I was painting South Bank one time, when I first came to London, some girl came over, she was like, can I, have, can I use your paint? I was like, I've only got a little bit. And she goes, oh, your letters are dead straight, man. I was like, and she was like taking the piss. I was like, oh, cheers, man, thanks. Well, I didn't give a fuck, you know what I mean? I was <laughs> just, just like, give a, I just like, yeah. didn't give a fuck. I just thought, you know, don't give a fuck what you think, man. Yeah. I can... You know, I'm doing your of, fucking business, darling. No, no, yeah, not in a rude way, but I was just like, oh, thank you. And she'd gone then, and I was just like, I'm not bothered. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I said, that's a compliment, bro. Like, I know, fuck. yeah, I know, no, yeah, like a dead, sharp, crisp line. That's like, you know what I'm saying? yeah, cheers, man, thanks. Yeah, man, you, you, I mean, for real, like, you hold a torch to, to, to Liverpool. And then let's run through. So, yeah, we've mentioned Nima, 100%. Like, whoa. Um, missed one. Yeah, yeah. Now, him... And the way that he did his lettering during the 90s, that was something else. Like, kind of an ode to the Brighton style. Yeah, yeah. He, it was almost like a... He, he, it would have been formed like a stamp. It looked like a stamp, didn't it? Definitely, yeah. A just, sticker. Just bold and, again, easy to read, didn't it? You know what I mean? Mm. Good. Just fucking up there, like. Thick black letter outline there's one. Oh, well, yeah, definitely, like. yeah. There's two, you know, when yeah. you mention writers all over the country, there's just like certain ones in certain spots who are just... Arrow. <gasps> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, Big really good. Arrow. Definitely. Oh, one of my favourites, him. Inky. Yeah, man, Inky was a cool guy. So when yeah. he was at that festival in like 1991 at Moston, and at the time I was painting with these young kids my age, whatever, 14, 15, these guy called uh, Rare and Ale. Hmm. And uh, we were just chatting to Inky, <clears throat> and he like... He goes, oh, well, you t what's your names? He goes, oh, and he was going to put us up and he's going, oh, no, I'll put uh, M-Y-R. And, and we're like, what? And he goes, yeah, Moston Young Rebels. And I was like thinking, I'm not a fucking Moston Young Rebel. I'm just going <laughs> to fucking tag on, man. But I was like, oh, cheers anyway. And he was like, oh, yeah, cool, man. But like seeing shit like that is yeah. like so good. Yeah. Like so, so good. And the, yeah, it's sort of like mind blowing. Isn't it lucky that kids, man, can adapt to the climate and have these amazing paints and you know it's not just that yeah it's just the lifestyle now as well with instagram you can see fucking graffiti instantly on your phone that's been done on the day you know what mm. i mean it's like the thing i come to london and paint loads of stuff and it's like you've got all these people who are going around photographing it and like say like if, if i do a few pieces and i hold them back to to mm. post yeah. like next week Ooh. so you get these photographers who go and fucking photograph it and then they post it before you post it and you're like oh yeah. man that's you a just, phenomenon you man. just wait until i post it myself yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? i'm not the only person who said that a few people have piped up and said you know this, this photographer i've done this fucking cool piece i was going to post it and they've just put it out there before me you lot need to pattern up that's what you need to no, do yeah yeah it's, it, i like it we Don't, need to see this shit. yeah i like it i like the, the thing is at the end of the day the reason people are or the reason i paint is for exposure yeah, right, to, yeah. you know to build up a fucking a name and that's what everyone's doing it for or well, i think so anyway yeah. it's actually bonkers now when you think about it it's a it's a culture in itself big up all the photographers as well hands down oh no yeah definitely i, I love it. yeah yeah no I no i know you're not i know you're not i love seeing my stuff when i like yeah. when i ever bought like hashtag london graph london graffiti yeah. and it comes up i'm like yeah yeah it's beautiful on man. There, man. <laughs> and you know sometimes yeah yeah totally there, there was nothing alluding to you know what you, you weren't alluding to anything illusion you weren't alluding to anything but, <laughs> but I, i'm certainly i'm certainly of the mind of like there's this culture that's built now where the photographers and that they it's like um it's crazy isn't it's it it's like a, you know they're hunting for uh twisters no no yeah it is it's an amazing thing it's such a great thing to photograph though isn't it yeah. I, i've been painting loads of times and there's like people so i was painting in Liverpool the other day and this guy's like taking photos and i was looking at him thinking and he goes oh can i take a photo i said yeah i just don't want a face in it and not for any reason i just don't want to be like seen in the mm -hmm. photo really because you never know what you're going to do in the future, you know what mm. I mean, in that, for that reason as well. But I went over to him and got speaking, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm a mental health nurse, but I just love fucking graffiti, Yo. man. I love graffiti, and I was, like, sick, and, and that was it. As mental well. health nurse knows what's up. For it's sure. Truth. Oh, yeah, for sure, definitely, yeah. So one of them, isn't it? I love photography and the fact that it's been documented in real time. There's something really charming about it. And like yeah. I say, it's like, it's like chasing a, a twister in the, in the desert for these guys. You know, they're on it. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I fucking love that. Yeah, I love it. What's the future, brother? What's the future keep, for you? Keep painting, yeah. Just yeah. trying to uh, just keep on going, really. I've just been um, 
I've been painting some canvases, so I've got an I have got an exhibition up right now. Probably be over by the time this if this ever does go live. <laughs> it will go anyway, live, my friend. Anyway, so yeah. I've got this exhibition up. So I paint some canvases, and I kind of just love kind of just painting on any surface. So I thought because yeah, you've got stickers and everything. Can't you? Yeah, you man, I'm just yeah really trying does. to create something and just hopefully try and create carve a living out of it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the ideal thing going forward. If I can make a living out of something that you love doing fucking go for it mm -hmm. and I, anyone you know what i mean so mm -hmm. like if uh, you just got to put the effort in and that's it isn't it in anything put the effort in and fucking just do as much as you can mm -hmm. really you can never underestimate the work writing graph and how yeah. that can influence your future in terms of you know just grabbing what you want to do in your work life and your Career oh no, span. definitely, yeah. I just, yeah, just love being creative. That's it, really. Get just fucking going to spots. I'm loving coming to London and in the past going to seeing all these spots. Thinking, oh yeah, I like today painting Trellick and like in all looking back at the fucking tower. It's unreal, man. Mm. So good, yeah. Oh, I'm happy you're happy. It yeah. was fucking fun. <laughs> it was fucking fun. I know, yeah. Any regrets? In what? In what way? Yeah. In, oh, in, in your. In life. No, in your. Graffiti career. No, spare. not at all. Really. I'd love to have like kept on painting and shit like that, but then things just take a hold. Like when I was like skating and painting, like 93, 94, you know, thing like I lost my dad in 93 and shit, and it was like a big figure in my life. At the time, I had like no structure, I was smoking loads of weed, doing loads of drugs, and I kind of, I like, I'll be honest, like I completely lost it. I'd break down and shit like that. And it took me a while to come back to like to life, you know, maybe like a couple of years to kind of get back and like come back to reality almost. But I think at the time I just didn't have structure or any guidance or anything, you know what I mean? Mm. And you don't have it it's never planned, is it? These yeah, it just happened. I, I just, just happened and then that coming back from that, like I say, so at the at the end of the day, so I'm a skateboarder as well. Like that was my thing. So like I got when I kind of came back what, into life type thing, or what it feels like coming back to, mm -hmm. started skating again, and then, you know, my certain friends, they're my friends, like certain friends like Joel, Howard, Adam, Adrian, like all these people who I skate with, and then just started skating again. And then I started, done a few pieces in like 98, 99, 2000, and then, but it just, it didn't grab me as much, you know what I mean, mm. as as it has done now, when I, when I paint now. So like, so if, with like COVID and shit like that, I think it's affected people's lives and they've they've kind of thought, you know, one day I'm going to be dead. What what do I want to do? Mm. What do I want out of Cut life? DM. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I'm still thinking, is this like a midlife crisis I'm going through? I'm thinking, no, it's not at all. I just want to go out and paint and have a nice life and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So like, yeah. just one of them. Uh, like who's out there to tell you what you can and can't do? There you go then, yeah. yeah. It's just like... You know, I feel for all ki kids coming through now because it's fucking life is hard. You know what I mean? Life's and they changing. can fucking yeah. Mm. I was painting with uh, these guys in Manchester or Rochdale a few weeks back. This guy who I've known since a kid called uh, Clea, and then this young writer called Silo, and he was like going, he was saying, um, and he was talking about some guy in Manchester. I can't remember the name, but he's like. Oh yeah, do you know what we call them? We call them COVID writers. I and mean, it's like all these people, <laughs> <What> the <laughs> all these old time people like me who've come back into it. And like, I would say like, it's like COVID writers. Oh my it's God. It's so funny. And the guy, the still, still how he's such a fucking cool guy, man. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned these writers. Nice. Yeah, yeah, honestly, really nice. And Clear, yeah. I've known since I was like, when I used to go to Manchester, I go like bus bombing and go around Manchester and I only hooked up with him again recently and when I went over I was like oh yeah how's it going my blah blah talking yeah. to him and he was like do you remember when we when I got he goes I've only ever been nicked once when I was with you and I was like what with me he goes yeah don't you remember I was like fuck and he goes yeah we were walking through Manchester tagging or whatever they were like bus shelters and some fucking gra guy just grabbed hold of him and wouldn't let go of him and that's when he got nicked. So this guy was like, fucking grabbed him and was just calling someone to say, look for the police. And he and he just, and Clear was just like, look, fuck off, go, go, just go away. You know, there's nothing I can do. I was like, sorry, man, I just got off. And I was only like 15, 16, you know what I mean? And the guy was like a fucking big guy. So I just thought, I'm not hanging around type thing. Like, it was fucking gnarly. But he was just like, oh yeah. And it's just like, fucking hell, man. I couldn't remember it. Certain things in life, it was just like, Weird, isn't it, that you forget? And then when someone says, oh, do you remember you do this? I was like another kid who, in Liverpool, you had this guy called Cider. Mm. 
And uh, he just says all this shit to me. I was like, and he goes, oh, do you remember you done this? And I was like, fucking hell, man, no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's Sometimes not, it's good to have a uh, conduit of people not, that are with you. Uh, it's not like it's now where everything's like a photo on your phone. It's just like mm. you took a photo if you had a camera. And if you didn't, you just fucking done it anyway because you weren't that bothered about it. But like, I'd love to have loads of the stuff that I'd done back then. I've got a few little bits, but not in like the way things are documented now. Mm. You can just go and get like a boss photo on your phone, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, it's interesting. There's there's a big up wrench and all the crew down there in Reading. There's this, uh, there's this Instagram page called Bumpkin Zoo, which archives a lot of, you know, the Berkshire stuff. There's also a bunch for Birmingham. Uh, I can't remember the name of the Instagram, but whole time a Birmingham crew, Tempo and them. Um, is there a, like a Instagram page for any Liverpool action? There's a few people who do, like, yeah. There are, there's a few things, yeah. That, but it's more like a mix of everything, to be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few things that go on, but yeah. I'd be really intrigued to see, you know, what's what's uh, what's heating on up there. What's yeah, I just yeah. When I do a piece, I just put like liver, hashtag Liverpool graph, Liverpool graffiti and. That's what and that's actually like, so there'd be stuff on there that yeah there's loads of shit on there yeah, man that's yeah. good yeah yeah and I guess the same in Manchester as well like, again, oh, you, man, Manchester, so Manchester's such a bomb city even back when I was like 15 and 16 it was just heavy you know fucking tags all over yeah, the city yeah, yeah. everywhere yeah. really fucking destroyed and even now it is as well there's loads yeah. of like really good young up and coming writers there Ill you know like illegal writers and, it, and yeah. they're killing it like so respect to them you know what I mean you know, Sheffield had that attitude a lot, didn't they? They were just... Oh, man, yeah. Heavy, heavy hitters. Nottingham as well, big up the Nottingham crew. Definitely. As well, you know, loads of things. I mean, this is, you know, of course we're London-centric being here, central London or central as you need to be, but... Yeah, London's just yeah. on another level though, isn't it? The amount of people who paint and it's like... It's just nice to see other places like... Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I love when I've come to come into London and other places and when people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to come to... Liverpool soon, I'll hit up, I'll go and paint and stuff like yeah. that. So, like, I painted with that guy, uh, the real Dill, a, a while ago in Liverpool, okay, and he's okay. a cool guy. Yeah. Just done, like, this big eyeball as they are and stuff. And just nice to meet, like, other people, you know what I mean? And paint. Nice uh, painted, people, yeah. Yeah. Cool people. When I was in Birmingham in the summer, I met this Russian guy called Sevs, mm. and he's, like, this fucking up there guy at the moment. He's like, oh, I'm going to come to Liverpool soon. I was like, yeah, man, just hit me up, we'll go and paint. And he came just in December and we just went and done a piece and that was nice, you know Yo, I'm I mean? definitely taking you up on the offer. Of oh, yeah, come and paint it, seriously. Bring the camera, yeah, bring yeah. the ghetto rig, <laughs> I know, oh, definitely, yeah. I, I do, to be honest, in Liverpool, I like just going out on my own and painting. That's it. It's not against anyone there or anything like that. Like, um, I say I'm married and I've got kids and that's so how I fucking get up mm. when the freaking sun comes up and I go out on the weekend you know early and paint <laughs> wherever I'm gonna on that, that particular day or I go in the week and paint I don't really like being around when there's like loads of kids hanging out and shit like that you know what I mean or yeah just one of them just like I, I do enjoy the kind of your own soul owners of it sometimes like I enjoyed it today it's great don't yeah. get me wrong fucking sick man but <laughs> so good today but I just like going yeah I like when even when I've been to like, um, London I like just going around on my own because I can get loads of shit done like mm. it's boss really mm. good yeah you're your own person and you go then yeah, yeah. I don't want to feel like I've got to have someone with me to go you yeah. know like to oh, yeah. you, you've got to come with me to do this paint I, I, I fucking just go, go on your own and do it man you know what I mean it's yeah. good it's good the solo uh -huh. Mission Impossible Tom yeah, Cruise, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Life of a writer, isn't it? Eh? Good, man. Really mm. good. But yeah, just, I, I say, I fucking, there's so, you know, just all, it just feels new again and just feel like I'm still learning and all the new, the paint and the caps. And it's just like a, being an artist, you're constantly learning and doing shit, you know what I mean? Like in Liverpool, in fact, in New Brighton, there's like this gallery and I was like, can I come and paint your wall? And the, and the guy was like, what do you want to paint? And I was like, I just want to do like a piece on the side. He goes, not if you're just going to do like this big kiosk piece. And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. And he's like, oh no, no, you know, we're just like about like street art and all that. He's like, you know, um, most of these peak graffiti artists have evolved into like art, but I, mm. I, I get that, but then... You know, you've got like people like Iron who just does like graph letters, mm -hmm. and there's other people who just do graph. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I just think, 
you don't have to just fit in mm-hmm. just to do mm-hmm. you know what I mean I do I, so like with that exhibition I've got on at the moment in Liverpool in this uh, Bowl Street coffee I just bombed the front of the shop. I fucking tagged it to death. Yeah. yeah, yeah, tagged the shop to the front. Done a fuck off big chrome at the back, like top to bottom. You're going to have to send some pictures. Chrome. But I ain't going to see it. You yeah, yeah. Definitely. And like, like video, you know, just and shit like that. And I'm I'm all about like, I love like filming when I paint it. Like I'm quite quick an hour or an hour, say, to do a quick, quick colour. And I'll just film it. I love like putting music on it. And I love all video and shit like that. I've always been into Isn't that. Isn't it the best? Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's but good. Eh? And it shows people and people can just watch yeah. it and they're like, that's cool, man. It's good, isn't it? I love I love the process that from inception to deliverance. Yeah. You've you've created this whole thing out of nothing into something. Definitely, man. Edits and it's all you, it's all your personal touch. I love, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Same. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. And at the end of it, you're like, yeah, that's fucking sick, man. Mm. Or, you know, if you'd please of it, it's fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah, definitely. People don't realize. I mean, I do edit all the podcasts. I edit and everything. Well, not edit, but I, you know, I put the template on, I do the, and export and upload that. But I think it's hard for people to understand. It's like, but again, it's the work rate. The more you do, the better it gets. Yeah, yeah. And you get so. Oh, no, def- it, definitely, yeah. De- even, like, with painting again now, I just feel like there's so... Like, I just feel like I've got so much more to learn, you know? Like, mm. being around all these people in London, like, even, like, fucking, I say, Tizer and Chips, and they're, like, fucking another level, man. They're just fucking so good. Mm. And, you know, and I, I don't see, you know... It's just one of them. It's just, like, I want to get fucking good. I want to get better and better and better and just keep on going until, mm. like, yeah... Time is of that, isn't it? That's <coughs> Definitely, when that's about. it. I, that's it. Like how you know, and even like when you say about Arrow and stuff like that, I mm. love his stuff, man. It's fucking mm. sick as fuck. Dangerous. You know, and it's like, and then going from what he's doing and then putting it in a gallery and shit like that, mm. and it's like that's cool, isn't it? You yeah, know? that's the thing that sprang to mind. You know, um, yeah, and, and then also like the, the tattoo culture. Uh, you know, that is embracing the graph or rather the graph. Well, there's loads of all this like so sacred, le- lettering. sacred lettering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like all that. And it's fucking, you know, I painted the other day in Liverpool, this guy called and he, <clears throat> he's a tattooist mm. and he does like these cool characters. So we've done this piece where yeah. it was like, so obviously it said chaos, <laughs> but then he done at the front like this little character. And then it, at the end of it, there was like this Chinese dragon cutting through Ooh. the E and the O and all the way through. And I love shit like that. I love mm. like, a proper like collab yeah. where you integrate the pieces like old school where you know you could do it people paint nowadays and it's like oh let's all go and paint and they do that's their piece there's that there's that and there's no like and even like today so just to put like a ribbon through all of it and yeah. it's all together it's a bit more thought out and just mm. like yeah it's great man it's like old school almost you know what i mean like doing that i think because it feels good doesn't it when you collaborate like that, yeah definitely it? man and it's like oh just doing different but yeah it works it's nice yeah yeah man yeah but we met yeah we met some good people down yeah, there indeed, day. Man. big up dodge <laughs> big up tickers big so up. good man yeah so, big up some, oh, so good ram so please ouch slam amazing Yow. yeah it was a good day, man. I know, yeah. It was a good day. I hear all these scary stories about Trellick and like fucking Laverick Griffin and Dead Sketchy. You're like, oh, yeah. yeah, shall I go over? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. But even when I was coming over, I was speaking to Chips and I was like saying, oh, yeah, gonna, what, he's like, oh, what are you, oh, yeah, he's doing, he was painting all weekend this weekend. He's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm going to go over to like Trellick and paint. And he's like, whoa. He goes, who are you painting with? I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and paint with Kelly. And he was like, oh, yeah. He goes, you're going to do a podcast, man. I was like, no, no, I'm just going to go and <laughs> no. paint, man. I'm Kills just going to go. force me into doing that <laughs> while I'm with him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just cool, just cool guys. Like, yeah, can't, good people. Yeah, man. definitely. And, you know, the thing is, I know people are going to think, oh, who the fucking hell is this guy come along from fucking nowhere, go, go, you know, doing a podcast? But it's just like... No, I have to say, there's this was... Total and utter intrigue. I was going around these Hall of Fames, yeah. seeing your name up everywhere. It's undeniable. Like, yo, where's this? Where's this guy? Where's Kiosk? Yeah, where's yeah. This guy come from? I know, yeah. Don't, but I, don't, I know in London, right? There's a lot of people out there who be thinking, who the fucking hell is this cunt or whatever. Whereas there's a lot of people who are up. Like I drive around and I see all people. Like, say for example, there's a guy, a young lad called Mach, and I see his stuff everywhere. And I message him. I was like, listen, stuff sick, man. I've seen you fucking mm. a lot up. And like all these kids who are up now and I just think like, 
you know, I respect that because I've been that, you, you know, I've been a young, obviously been younger and gone painting and I love fucking seeing graffiti everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, I don't tag or anything anymore. I don't, I can tag and I've, and I love doing my tag, but I wouldn't, I, I don't go around tagging and shit like that. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know why. I you just, sketched every day? You sketch? I sketch every day, yeah. I draw yeah. every day, as I draw and then... Yeah, so I've been doing a few pieces on like a VR headset of late. I'm on like a Kingspray. What? Yeah, I know this one. So yeah, so Big I've been, snuck. so I've been the using. <laughs> yeah. So like, I've been having a go. My wife bought me one for Christmas, a present or whatever. Yeah. So I've just been getting a little bit into that, and then to be honest, it's easier to paint with paint than it is on that. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. and the time it takes is good. Like, but um, I just like doing all. I say, just enjoy painting and creating that's it really yeah the future's bright my brother exhibitions to <coughs> daily oh yeah that's it Yo. that's the idea man just to keep on doing a few things and like kind of not cross over but just keep on doing what i'm doing and you know you look at other people like so i was watching one of your podcasts with uh panic yeah mm -hmm. and like the, his stuff is like yeah. so good and that total i've got total respect for you know so yeah, many know, people yeah, yeah, yeah amazing and they've been going and going yeah. and i get that you know what i mean so I just hope I don't piss anyone off because they think, oh, the fucking LZ's come along out of nowhere trying to fucking claim something. I'm not. I'm just doing what I do because I love doing it. That's it. There's no other reason. You're yeah, not man. Doing. And big up all the Liverpool crew each and every time. Eh? I mean, yeah. I'm going to get up there and start doing some doing some. Uh, oh, no, definitely, yeah. yeah. I'm very looking forward to it very much. So we've done Sheffield. We've done Blackpool. We've done... What have we done? Uh, we've done... We've been to Brighton. We've done some... Birmingham, obviously. Yeah, man, it'd be wicked to get up there. Oh, man, yeah, definitely come and paint any time, yeah. Thank be you, good. my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, my brother, it's been a pleasure. Sick, yeah, um, it's good, eh? Yeah, man. Big up the kiosk inside the place, big up the Liverpool crew. Hold tight, everybody in the rest of the UK, London, hold tight. This is what it is, Killer Cat Podcast. Yeah, sharing is caring, all right? So make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. It's ain't for the health, you know what I mean? We're doing this for the culture, for you guys, and uh, yeah, for the widespread information on the uh, uh, internet superhighway, all right? Look, we out like it was out of fashion, don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. Peace. Cheers. <laughs> Is that for you there, sir? Yeah, that's good, eh?